Okay, sports fans, I'm back at it again. Um, it's Sunday, and it didn't rain, much as it was uh, anticipated by the good old weatherman. So I'm going to show you the results of the uh, the latest round of this here doping trials, and let you see what the results are so far. But before that, I thought you might want to see. Uh, you probably uh, recall from the previous videos, I had to keep uh, turning my compressor off. I had a little compressor. So I needed to increase some volume, and that little compressor didn't have a lot of CFM, so it didn't. Uh, it took a long time to generate the pressure again. So as I mentioned, I had a smaller uh, compressor. It's low, it's noisier. But what I did is I jury rigged and added a small external um, supply tank, air tank, to hold some more um, uh, volume. So I'll show you what I did here, uh, real quick. So this is the um, this is the configuration right there. Pull my screen back. Um, just so you know, regular little compressor. What I did is try not to spend any more money. I happen to have in my garage uh, tire filler uh, gauge combo, and it has a locking chuck. So what I did is I locked that chuck to this external Campbell Hausfeld, Hausfeld um, portable air tank. And then I move my uh, coiled hose to that, and there you go. So that gives me additional volume. Um, but of course, I couldn't regulate the pressure um, because the, I need to regulate the pressure coming out of the tank. And it shows that, of course, the tank shows me the pressure, but it, I, I don't have a regulator. But I did have uh, one that goes on the gun. I guess I could have put this on the tank if I wanted to, um, but I chose not to. So I had a, 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 a water separator uh, and gauge regulator air regulator combo so I just added that to my gun so uh, just a little bit more I had all this laying around so it just cost me zero additional dollars uh, yeah if I didn't want to jury rig it I could just uh, go out to the uh, El Storo Lowe's or something and uh, got proper fittings and blah 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 but hey this seems to be working so far or we shall see all right so I'm gonna press pause for a second get the camera set up so that we can see what the latest results are hold tight Okay, sports fans, here we are. All right, here are the results um, of, from Saturday. It's been r almost 24 hours, I think, roughly, um, that this has had a chance to do its job. All right, so let's start with this one here, the 50-50 butyl, 50-50 butyl board. Um, you'll notice it's, um, it's getting nice and taut. It's pretty stiff, and it's tightening up. So I think... Um, a few more applications of that and um, I think should be nice and stiff and one thing I did notice is that um, probably because there's already a few layers but this if you got this far without the material sticking to your frame to your structure then um, this really doesn't cause it to stick anymore so in any case this is looking promising still have some of the waves in it but I'm, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep adding some um, some butyl to it. Just see what happens. Just see what happens. Of course, that's the whole point of these doping trials. All right, here we have the um, where I 50/50 uh, also uh, butyl where I sprayed and brush. Um, on the brush side, it's getting nice and stiff. Um, you know, I'm not feeling much sag. I you know I, I can press it down and, and get some depletion, but you know this looks to be very workable um, the spray side is a bit softer it's not it's not as stiff um, it feels softer under to the touch this is this is hard smooth this is more a little bit more rough but you have more play but I don't think I'll be able to pick it up more but but it's definitely not stiff it definitely needs some more application I believe because if I were to take my knuckle I, I don't know if you can see that or not I can leave indentations so it's it still has some flex in it so I would think I would want this a bit more taut before I call it done so I'm gonna add some more layers I'm gonna add some more coats on there and um, just keep going until you know till we see what happens um, however what the most interesting results are the bottom side of this the 100% butyl now I don't know if you can see this but this is nice and taut I mean, when you talk about drum tight over here, 
this is I mean nice and drum tight even in this area where I thought with the indentations it wouldn't pop free but it did there's still some here a little bit here where I can I can see some more applications what would uh, probably make a difference um, I have a big part right here big point where it's stuck to the bottom rib so I think that's going to be there unless I find a way to to reach through and push it off um, but yeah this this 100% butyl this gives some great results as it is um, and I want to say what did we end up with is this just two coats so far I you know what another note to self next time I think I just get a sharpie and just do some tick marks for each coat this is practice anyway or just you know if, if this were for real and I'm gonna do this when I do it for real um, a, a separate piece of paper to mark um, the coats because this is definitely a multi-day process so this looks real good I'm really happy with how this butyl um, actually recovered I mean remember this was it was wavy it didn't look good at all I was really discouraged I didn't think that this was gonna look too well but my goodness this this looks pretty darn good um, so I think I'm, I'll once again try another coat just to see what happens see if it have really tightened up these areas here you know I can see here but I mean maybe we've got a little dry here a little dry here a little dry here is maybe where it didn't um, tauten tighten up as much but over here where it looks like I got a pretty good code coverage this is great so what does that say to me um, you know this is definitely the way to go or if, if you decide that you want to thin it um, to get more brushing and spraying um, the 50 50 definitely is going to take you know multiple coats which is to be expected I mean you got 50% thinner in there um, but maybe you don't need to go 50 50 maybe you can do instead of doing one to one you can do one to two or one to three um, one part thinner to two parts uh, butyl or one part thinner to three parts butyl to get it you know thin enough to brush easily but to get closer to these results with fewer coats Cheryl I'm gonna keep going what I'm going here but uh, I think that tells me note to self when I decide to try a um, a different um, a, a different wing type structure test test piece here maybe do um, one to two or one to three and I don't think one to three will spray one to two might not spray um, we'll see but um, you know then maybe we could do you know three to five or something like that I don't know but we could should be you know see what ratio we can come up with that a spray and or brush well so what am I going to do now um, I'm going to go ahead and put another coat of the 50-50 um, on see what happens and then um, you know spray the one side brush the other side and um, and then of course just for again just for grins I'm gonna come over and do this one more time I think if I do this one more time I, I think I can call that done I really do okay all right um, one thing that I'm also gonna do I'm going to sand um, this this in between to see if it helps um, smooth and out smooth out that uh, make that surface a little smoother um, one thing that as I continued I remember that oh yeah and I think I might have used in the past some um, some sponge brushes instead of just the the, uh, the chip brushes so um, again you know maybe sponge might help give you a nice even application without uh, a brush that soaks up a lot um, a sponge won't soak, won't, won't, soak, won't soak up as much and give you as thick of a um, application and then allow you to smooth it down again all these things we can try um, moving forward but at this point in time I am just going to do what you've already seen me do I'm a coat I'm a spray and um, I'm just gonna go you know and continue forward uh, I don't think you need any more commentary from me on that part so I'll just do that I'll let the camera roll I'll decide whether I'll just cut it out or I'll just fast forward through the audio or through the video um, I'm also sure at some point the compressor is going to kick in so you I'm sure you really don't want to hear that loud compressor um, kicking in when I'm doing this so um, in any case 
that is the plan sports fans I am going to do that I'm gonna brush on I'm gonna spray on I'm gonna let it sit um, like I said it's what time is it it is probably about 4 30 oh 5 30 um, I may be able to get another application in or two tonight um, and I'm, I'm hoping one more of this we can call this I'm sorry one more of the 100% we can call that done and I'm hoping no more than two or three more of the 50 50 and we can call it done so um, maybe by this time tomorrow tomorrow being Monday um, we'll have some final results so um, any case hang on and um, yeah I gotta do some prep work first so I'll probably cut that out but maybe I won't what the hey we'll see okie doke
Okay, sports fans, that's about it for now. Um, I'm going to let this sit. I'll probably check back in about 30 minutes, so that's about 6 o'clock. Maybe go watch a little bit of football. And um, yay, the Cowboys lost. Woohoo! That's always a good thing. As I was saying, yay, the Cowboys lost. Woohoo, that's always a good thing. Unfortunately, my Redskins are uh, not quite in the cellar. Thankfully, the Eagles are stinking it up worse than we are. And um, I think, um, actually, I think we're a little bit ahead of the the um, the Giants since they just beat us. Actually, no, because they lost a division game to Dallas. They won a division game against us, so we're probably dead heat. But we'll see what happens with the season. But in the meantime, you don't care about my football. Um, I'll come back in about half an hour or so and check on this and see how things are going. All right. Deuces.